Remembering God's Message Bible Story Father, Father, what are you doing? cried the little boy with brown hair. Father turned his head. He was in front of the door. Come here, son, and I'll show you, said father. The little boy walked up to his father. His eyes opened wide. Father, what are you writing on the wall? He asked in surprise. Father smiled. I'm writing important words on a sign. I'm writing the special message from God. The little boy jumped up and down. You mean the message that Moses told us? He asked. Yes, said father. God wants us to remember his message each day. Father, I cannot read yet, he said sadly as he shook his head. Father put his arm around the little boy. Soon you will be able to read. Until then, you must listen closely as I read God's words to you. The words are very important. As father talked with his son, he finished writing the last word. When you learn to read and write, you can help me put up more signs around the house. Father then reached down and took his son's hand. Let's go for a walk, he said. Father and his brown-haired boy walked down the path. They walked past trees and flowers. Father stopped walking. He sat down on a big rock. The little brown-haired boy sat on his father's lap. He could feel his father's strong arms around him. Look, father, said the little boy. There is a bird sitting on the branch of a tree. Father looked up into the tree. He could see a bird with shiny black feathers. Father, asked the little boy, why are you writing God's special message by our doors at home? Son, said father slowly, God's message is very important. It is more important than a message from a king or queen. It is very special. God has told us how to make him happy and how we can make ourselves happy. Father, father, cried the little boy. If I paint on the walls of our home, will that make God happy? Father smiled. No, son. Nobody will be happy if you paint on the walls of our home. Let me explain. God wants us to put his special message in certain places. Father looked at his little son closely. Son, God's special message tells us what God wants us to do and what God does not want us to do. God wants us to obey his special message. Father gently placed his son on the ground and stood up. They began to walk home. Father said the little boy softly, If I pick a flower to give to God, will that make him happy? Father patted his son on the head. Son, said father, more than giving him flowers, God wants us to obey his special message. God loves us very much. The little boy began to skip and jump. I'll obey God's special message and I'll pick a flower for him too, he shouted happily. As they walked back home, father and the little boy stopped at a small stream. Splash, splash! Water was splashing and flowing over rocks and pebbles. A small leaf was floating and bouncing on the bubbling water. Oh, father, said the little boy, streams are fun for wading. I would like to splash in the water too. Son, we may wait for a few minutes right now, said father, slipping off his sandals. Father and his son waded in the cool water. They picked up smooth round pebbles to take home for mother. Let's go home now, said father as he stepped out of the water and began to put on his sandals. Let's go home before dark, and we cannot see the path. 
the little brown-haired boy began to put on his sandals. Suddenly, a big tear rolled down his cheek. Oh, father, cried the little boy, I am very sad. Father knelt down. Son, why are you sad? he asked. Did you cut your foot on a rock? Father reached down and picked up his little brown-haired boy. The little boy shook his head. No, father, I did not, he whispered. But I know what I did do. I forgot God's special message. The little boy wiped a tear from his eye. I want God to be happy with me. I want to obey. Father smiled. You don't have to be afraid or sad. You will not forget God's special message. The little boy opened his eyes wide in surprise. I won't, he asked. No, son, said father, taking the little boy's hand. Each morning, I will tell you about God's special message. Every day, we will talk about the special message. The little boy sighed. Father, what about at night? Each night, we will talk about God's special message before you fall asleep. The little boy smiled. Oh, father, he said. We will not forget God or His special message. I am glad.